In this video, we'll review how you can use Right Capital's budgeting tools to set your monthly budget, stay on top of your spending activity, and even view your transaction history. All of this can be done both on the desktop version of Right Capital as well as within our mobile app. We'll review both in today's video. Before we dive in, it's worth mentioning that in order to use Right Capital's budgeting tools, you'll first have to link at least one bank account or credit card to your plan that has transaction data. If you still need to complete this step, feel free to watch our other video on linking accounts to your Right Capital plan. You'll find the link to that video in the description below. As soon as at least one account or card with transactions is linked, the budget analysis will unlock and become fully available for use. You can access this planning module within the dashboard budget tab of your client portal. When visiting this area for the first time, you'll want to start in the budget sub tab to the far right. This tab is where you can set your monthly budget. You'll find a list of budget categories, along with a field for each to specify the dollar amount allocated to that category. For example, if you know you spend $200 a month on gas and car maintenance, you can enter $200 into the auto and transport category. If your goal is to spend no more than $100 on dining out each month, you can enter that value for the dining out category. It's possible that your advisor has created custom budget categories for you, so the ones you see on your screen might differ from the ones that you see here. When creating your budget, you can also use your average monthly spending as a frame of reference when setting the target amounts for each category. Use the drop down menu in the upper right to select a time frame, which will update the values in this column. When you first link your accounts, Right Capital will usually receive 90 days worth of historical transaction data, but this can vary a bit depending on your bank. Once you've finished this step, the sum of all of these categories will make up your total monthly budget visible in the lower right of this page. Do note that what you enter here isn't permanent, and you can revisit this tab and update your target amounts at any time. From this point on, you'll be able to use the rest of the budgeting tools to track your past and current spending. First and foremost, the Summary tab is where you'll find an overview of your budget progress for the current month. This tab makes it quick and easy to check in on your spending and to make sure that you're staying within the budget targets that you've set for yourself. The pie chart on the left will highlight your overall month-to-date spending, and the list to the right will detail how over or under your spending is in any one budget category. A yellow bar means that you're getting close to exceeding your budget for a given category, and a red bar means you've gone over your target. A quick pro tip for you here. All of your bank accounts and credit cards will be included in your budget analysis by default, but you can customize which accounts are included by clicking into the action items at the bottom of the page and then clicking the edit button in the lower right. This can be valuable if you've linked business accounts or any other accounts or cards that shouldn't be factored into your personal budget. Moving on to the activity tab, this area allows you to take a closer look at your past expenses, income, and more. Two different charts are provided for you here, activity over time and prior activity by category. The activity over time chart will shine a spotlight on previous monthly expenses, income, net income, and other transactions. You can use the radio buttons above the chart to toggle between these options, and in the upper right corner of the page, you'll find a drop-down menu that allows you to adjust the time frame that you're viewing. This chart can be an invaluable tool in understanding your past spending habits month to month and in identifying certain times of year when you might be prone to spending more. Another quick pro tip, you can click on a respective budget category to the right to isolate that category within this chart. This can be helpful if you need to zero in on any changes that might have occurred for a particular spending category like housing or other bills and utilities. It can also help you identify progress that you've made in reducing spending in certain areas, like dining out. The other chart here is prior activity by category. This chart will recontextualize expense information into a pie chart that displays each category as a percentage of your total spending for a given time frame. 
This chart excels at making it more visually apparent which budget categories make up the bulk of your expenses or income. The final tab within the budget module is the transactions tab, which is where the individual transactions feeding into your plan can be viewed and managed. If you have several different bank accounts and credit cards linked to your financial plan, this can be a great way to view all of your transactions in one place. Using the drop-down menus at the top of the page, you can filter transactions by account, budget category, and time period. You can also search for specific transactions by name using the search bar if you're looking for something specific. When it comes to managing transactions within Right Capital, there are a few different things to keep in mind. Firstly, if you ever need to change the description or category for a specific transaction, all you need to do is click on that transaction to update the information. This can help make certain transactions more clear and ensure that they're being sorted into the correct budget category. In addition to recategorizing individual transactions, you can also recategorize transactions in bulk. Check the box to the left of one or more transactions and then click the blue Edit Category button in the upper right-hand corner of the page. A pop-up window will appear on your screen, allowing you to choose the new budget category for all of the transactions that you've selected. If you ever find yourself needing to split a transaction, you can do so by clicking the blue arrow icon to the far right of a transaction. Within the window that appears, you can specify the details of that split. First, click the plus and minus icons to determine how many ways a transaction will be split. Then you can enter the new description, category, and dollar amount for each split. Do note that negative numbers must be used when splitting expenses, and positive numbers must be used when splitting income. Once the sum total of each split equals the dollar amount of the original transaction, you can click Save in the lower right. If you ever need to undo a split transaction after clicking Save, you can always click the blue arrow icon again on one of the split transactions and select the Unsplit option to revert your changes. You can also add transactions manually to your budget analysis when necessary. Although account linking is required to utilize the budget module initially, you can add transactions manually to any of the manually entered bank accounts or credit cards in your plan. Do note though that manual transactions cannot be added to linked accounts. To add a manual transaction, choose a manually entered account from the accounts filter in the upper left corner of the page. This will cause an add transaction button to appear in the upper right. Adding manual transactions is pretty quick and straightforward. Enter the date, description, category, and amount of the transaction, and then click save to add it to your budget. Once again, keep in mind that when adding expenses, a negative number should be entered for the dollar amount. After being added, if you need to edit that transaction in the future, you can click on it to rename, recategorize, or change the dollar amount. You can also delete manual transactions by clicking the X icon to the far right. One last thing to note when it comes to transactions in Right Capital. By default, the transactions page of your budget analysis won't be visible to your financial advisor as a privacy measure. However, you can choose to share your transactions with them if you'd like. This can be done by navigating to the gear icon, security, permissions tab of your plan, and unchecking the setting on this page. Once you save this change, your advisor will be able to view and help you manage your transactions. Please note that this isn't permanent, and you can choose to revert this change at any time by rechecking this same setting. To round things out today, let's take a quick look at Right Capital's budgeting tools within our mobile app. If you need to check your budget on the go and you don't have access to a computer, this can be a quick and easy way to do so right from your mobile phone. After logging into the app, tap the budget module at the bottom of the screen. In this area, you'll find all the same tabs that we reviewed in the desktop version of Right Capital. A summary tab to keep tabs on your current monthly budget progress, an activity tab to analyze your past spending habits, a transactions tab where you can view, rename, and recategorize your transactions, 
and a budget tab where you can view and update the target amounts for each of your budget categories. It's worth noting that this area of the mobile app is synced with the budget module in your client portal. When you update your budget or transactions on your phone, those will also update on desktop and vice versa. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.